Hey guys, welcome back. So today we received another update with regards to mortgage forbearance from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. In fact, Federal Housing Finance Agency, the FHFA, came out earlier today and announced that mortgage forbearance on single family uh, backed property through Fannie Mae and or Freddie Mac Forbearance has been extended or added to for an additional six months, taking it now to 18 months. What does that actually mean? We're going to pull up um, the briefing from uh, the Federal Housing Finance Agency to go through it. We're going to read some highlighted parts that I mentioned. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can check it out if you want. But understand that extending it 18 months means that if you go into mortgage forbearance and again i th i believe you have to be in your initial uh forbearance period by february 28th to have this additional six month coverage um, taking it to eight, 18 months but if you are in forbearance by february 28th which is in just a couple of days here you could, in theory, be in forbearance until August of 2022. August of 2022. It is February of 2021. So you would get 18 months from this period. Potentially, um, you know, you have the ability, if you've been affected by the pandemic, to have that extended. But let's take a look at that briefing, pull it up, read the highlighted parts, and um, help you better understand it. So says the FHFA announced that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are extending the moratoriums on single family foreclosures and real estate owned evictions until June 30th, 2021. So there's a key there. They also extended the eviction and foreclosure moratorium until the end of June. Now, recently when they came out and they added the initial three month period uh, of forbearance just a couple of weeks ago, they didn't extend the eviction moratorium at that time. But now they're coming out and saying that they are extending the eviction moratorium through the end of June on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, Freddie Mac backed properties. Now this goes along and matches what HUD has done with FHA and USDA as well. So that's going to be pushed out through the end of June on foreclosures. But FHA, FHFA also announced that borrowers with a mortgage backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac may be eligible for an additional three-month extension of COVID-19 forbearance. This additional three-month extension allows borrowers to be in forbearance for up to 18 months. Now, it's an additional three months, not an additional six months, because just a couple of weeks ago, they extended it three months already, and that took it to 15 months. This is now taking it to 18 months, just to clarify. Eligibility for this extension is limited to borrowers who are in a COVID-19 forbearance plan as of February 28th, 2021. So right now it is the 25th. That means essentially you have through Sunday to get into a forbearance plan in order for this to actually allow you that, that extension. Now, We'll talk about that in just a moment, but um, other limits may apply. Further COVID-19 payment deferral for borrowers with an enterprise-backed mortgage can now cover up to 18 months of missed payments. COVID-19 payment deferral allows, allows borrowers to repay their missed payments at the time the house is sold, refinanced, or at mortgage maturity. So what does that actually mean? That means that they are allowing you, if you take forbearance and you've taken it out 18 months, then when you apply for deferral, which allows you to take those payments and add them to the back of the loan, they are now allowing you to ask for the full 18 months and not just a portion of it, right? So initially it was a 12 month deal and you could ask for a 12 month forbearance. Now it is 18 months, you can ask for 18 months of deferral. But please understand, just because you ask for the the deferral option doesn't mean you're going to get the deferral option. You still have to qualify for that option. You have to provide, um, it's almost like applying for a loan, my understanding, and talking to people that have done this. You have to show the lender that you're capable of making your mortgage payments. You have to back that up with pay stubs, tax returns. And if you don't qualify, the lender is likely not going to give you that deferral option. They're going to set you up on a repayment plan or you know, some sort of loss mitigation, some sort of loan modification, which could change the terms of your loan. So 
Don't just think that this is a free ride, that you don't have to make your mortgage payments for the next 12 months, or if you're on forbearance for the next six months or 18 months, depending on when you apply for this, just know that it's there to help you if you actually need it. Now, I'm one of those people that have been talking about this since the beginning, since last March, if you will, about forbearance and what have you. And the more I've talked about it, the more I've thought it would be extended just because of how long this has carried on. My guess is this is probably, you know, they say that you have to apply by February 28th. My guess is they're probably going to extend that at some point, giving you more of an opportunity to get into some sort of forbearance if you need it. Now, don't count on that if you're trying to get into forbearance or need to get into forbearance. You know, do what you think you need to do, um, which is if you're one of these people that needs this, contact your lender. They're the ones that can guide you through the process and get you set up on this. Now, again, this is not supposed to negatively affect your credit but it will limit you from being able to purchase another property and or refinance your current property until you've become current on uh, that forbearance plan. So this, you know, it does have its limitations, but if you're somebody that has truly been affected, then this could be a good thing. But this is another reason why I've discussed that you're not likely to see foreclosures coming anytime soon. You're not likely to see this huge supply chain in change in the market anytime soon because, again, the eviction moratorium was extended, so that's now at the end of June. You got forbearances. People can ask for additional time if they need it. So anybody that needed the help there, um, you know, not may, being able to make their payments now has an additional couple of months um, added on and giving them more time to potentially come up with the money, get a job or do something different. So that's where we are with it at the moment. As we continue to get updates on this, I will continue to update you. Uh, but if you have questions, comments, do me a favor, leave them below. As always, I appreciate your time. Definitely appreciate the support and hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.